This 2007 Lexus IS250 has only done 78,000 kilometres since it was brand new. My name is Philip Tarrant. I'm going to talk to you about this car today. And we are the old timer centre located in Marrickville. So it's, we know it's got 78,000 kilometres. We can see it's silver in colour. It's got light grey leather interior. Two remote keys and it's a prestige. It's got parking sensors, electric seats, heated seats and air conditioned seats. It's got push button start and it's also got the paddle shifts on the, the uh, steering wheel here to go up and down through your gears. It's got automatic headlights as well, cruise control as to be expected. It was owned by an older gentleman who had bought the car brand new. It's got the original number plates on it since it was brand new, BCX 88B. And I, I honestly can't think of a, a more sensible car to buy in terms of reliability, safety, economy. Toyota is regarded as one of the most reliable bland, brands on the planet and the Lexus is simply just a better Toyota. And I've owned Lexuses myself, um, a number of different Lexuses from sedans, four wheel drives. And I love European cars. And I usually have a European car and I have a Lexus. The reason why I like Lexus is because it's got all the luxuries of any European car, but you've got that absolute reliability. And it's that car where if I want to drive through the snow, I need to make a trip to Canberra or Melbourne. It's the car I get in, start it and drive. I don't even bother checking the oil or anything because you just simply don't need to. Whereas with some European cars, you know, that I've had in the past, I'm making a, a trip to Queensland, I think, gosh, I, sh I should get it in for a service, you know, before I take it, just to make sure it's, it's okay, it'll, it'll get me there. And I'm not saying that I don't service my Lexuses on time, I always do. But um, it's just, you know, peace of mind, if you've done 8,000 kilometres since the last service and you want to take it for a trip, it wouldn't be an issue. The resale is also very good. Uh, like your Lexus IS200, which was the first of the IS series, you'd still pay five to ten thousand dollars for easily, and for a good one, you'd pay into the early mid teens. And this is the whole new series. The IS200 was a good car, but it had a two litre engine, a two litre six cylinder engine with a four speed automatic transmission. Unfortunately, it just didn't really work. It didn't work for BMW either. They had a two-litre six-cylinder engine and they realised that if they were going to have a 1.8 or a two-litre engine, they should have just make it, made it a four-cylinder as BMW did. They called the 320i a four-cylinder in the later series. And Lexus, they did like the V6 because Lexus is all about being smooth and reliable. So basically just made it a two-and-a-half-litre V6 and a much bigger gearbox. I believe it's a six-speed gearbox. And that's what gives you what, what we think is an incredible car. It's been fully serviced up to date. It's got two keys. It's got a couple of um, little bumps and blemishes on the plastic bumpers, not the metal panels or doors or anything like that or roof and we'll get that professionally attended to. But it's never been a major accident and it's just a very good car. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to give us a call on 029569 9999. Thanks again for watching.